Okay, so this is uh, a little clip I'm making uh, for uh, YouTube. This is uh, this, the Maker website, the Make uh, Magazine uh, website, had a super simple FM transmitter circuit that came out uh, a little while ago. And uh, so I thought I'd have a go. I've got a bit of time this weekend. So uh, here's what we got. Uh, essentially, uh, there's a, well, a, a schematic, uh, a diagram. It looks a bit like this. Uh, don't worry about it too much, uh, I'll send you the link at the bottom of this YouTube so you can see where where it is and what the parts are. But uh, uh, essentially, uh, yep, yeah, I wired it up, and uh, you can see it here. If you look at the Make website, you'll probably see the same kind of thing. You've got a homemade inductor here, which is basically wire that's been wrapped up on a uh, small bolt, which is, I happen to have one here. It's a quarter inch uh, 20 uh, thread uh, bolt. Now, the instructions say to use four turns. I ended up uh, using uh, six turns just to try and lower the overall frequency that I was getting uh, out of the circuit. I'm quite pleased that uh, my uh, adjustments have seemingly paid off. Uh, you can see here I've got these uh, blue capacitors here. Initially, initially I used 103s. That's uh, 10,000 uh, picofarads, uh, and these are 104s. It's 100,000 picofarads, so a slight adjustment again to the uh, the uh, y units I was using. Otherwise, everything else is pretty standard from the uh, existing circuit. Um, and uh, you can see a few wires here. So this uh, is connected to my oscilloscope over here. And as you can see, it's humming away quite nicely. And I don't know if you can quite make that out. It's got uh, 99.65 megahertz. Yeah, a little bit of noise there, 48 85 megahertz, 99.48 to 99.85 seems to be where it's ticking around. Uh, but you can see it looks pretty good. Um, it's uh, each of these uh, uh, squares on my oscilloscope is representing one volt. So I've basically got about four volts peak to peak uh, coming out of a, a nine volt or nine or ten inch volt uh, DC supply. And I'm just taking that signal uh, from the emitter of the single transmitter, which is just down in here somewhere. Uh, they're right down there, that little black dot. Uh, the green line, well, it seems I need a little bit of uh, amplification. This is just an antenna that I've wired up. It's one of these little copper, uh, these crocodile clips, uh, little cables, attached to the, the ground plane here. The PCB board is covered in copper, and I'm just supporting at the top here. And uh, for sound, well, I uh, was wiring it into uh, my MP3 player, and then I realized that I was clearly bought a, a pretty crap... Uh, mono jack, and the jack broke off right inside my uh, MP3 player. So I had to open the MP3 player, as you can see here, which is one of these uh, little Sony things. I bought a few, a few. Uh, let me find out what it was supposed to look like. You might recognize this sort of thing. Uh, it's a little Sony stick player, US, uh, USB um, product, about 30 pounds in the UK. Uh, Great, does its job. Uh, unfortunately, I had to go digging into the uh, into the uh, uh, jack there to find the uh, to find that the rest of the plug. But I pulled it out, and it's just about working. Now, I'll give you a demonstration. I'll give you a demonstration uh, on this uh, new Texan uh, PL880 uh, shortwave radio, which has a great um, single side band for the amateur radio uh, frequencies as well. Uh, it's dialed into 99.7. FM. I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, let's see if it works. Now, I notice it's very temperamental with uh, capacitive grounding and proximity to the antennas and so forth, so the signal is probably going to be a bit rough. It's also very touchy according to uh, this uh, MP3 player, which is open at the moment. But uh, I'll give you an idea what we're what we can what we can achieve. So I'm going to switch the lights out and then see if we can get this thing working. Okay. Lights off. Uh, radio on. Oh, radio on. Had the volume down. And let's switch this on. And listen to a bit of Stuck Mojo. I can switch it on. There you go. This is Walk the Line from Declaration of a Headhunter by Stuck Nojo. There you 
see it's 99.7, and that's working off uh, basically the same thing, 99.65. You can hear that the uh, the audio is pretty crap, very dependent on how I'm holding the battery. Just a little bit of capacitive reactants there around the antenna. It works pretty well. All right. Anyway, you get the idea. Take care. Bye-bye.